The Warrior. It's been serving the British Army since the 80s. But this one's different. The Legacy Warrior was on duty in both Iraq wars and the conflicts in Afghanistan, Bosnia and Kosovo. Eight years ago though, Lockheed Martin was contracted to upgrade the turret. Now that design is being road tested. The MOD is working with Lockheed Martin, but also examining what the company is providing. They have to decide whether to upgrade the entire legacy fleet. The Warrior is designed to get infantry sections onto an enemy position and seize and hold ground, working very closely in conjunction with the vehicle. The vehicle and the section inside it is a system, whether the section is in or out of the vehicle. That's the difference that Warrior makes. To hold and seize ground, you need more than software. You need serious military hardware. From 2011 to today, we've gone through a whole series of designs, proven the designs on paper, proven designs through modeling, and now building and proven how design works on activities such as this. For security reasons, we can't show you inside, but the new digitized turret means big change. You know, what the Warriors look like. How different does this look? So if you think about Legacy, the turret is, is a bit uh, larger. The cannon is the, is the biggest difference. You've got, you've got the, the mantlet, which has changed, and the large cannon that comes out. This is the cannon. That, that looks different on, on the older ones. So this is the main change, is it? Yeah, so, this, so we've now got a 40mm cannon, where before we had a 30mm cannon. So all this assembly behind the cannon, does that look the same or has that changed? So that's completely changed as well. So before it's quite a smooth mantlet, now you've got the, the large uh, mantlet that juts out in the sort of wedge shape, and then the chain gun shroud, which is the bit to the right of the barrel, um, has now been placed a bit higher than it was as well. The chain gun itself has been improved to make it less prone to jamming. There's also the option to add extra protection on the outside. The real game changer on top of this warrior is a bit like one of these things. It's called a gimbal. It's holding a camera and the idea is as I move the handle it keeps the camera steady and pointing at whatever I want it to. Now that is really handy for photography but it's absolutely essential for a cannon like that. You are working for the Army with Lockheed Martin testing this. How are you finding this vehicle is performing? It, it's, um, it's an absolute game changer, to be honest, compared to what we had before. We can never fire on the move the main armament on the Legacy Warrior. Now we've got that capability. I mean, with a stabilised cannon as well, with Legacy before, you'd look through your sights and all you could see, you know, if the uh, driver slammed on his brakes, all you could see was ground and then sky. Now, because it's stabilised and the vehicle can be moving, that, gu that gun just stays on that target and, and the side pitch inside is just steady. As well as firing on the move, the main cannon is bigger and it fires a different kind of ammunition. There are various types of cased telescope ammo. The manufacturers say that means fewer rounds for the same result. Effectively, a bigger bang. So we've got a HE airburst and the better penetrator for the AP uh, round that we've now got as well. Inside the turret, the cognitive burden, if you like, from the commander side has gone away because all he's got in front of him are the screens and he interacts with the screens rather than having to reload uh, every three rounds and think about what's inside the gun like you would do on the Raden cannon. This one is easier to use and interact with. Time will tell whether the turret upgrade can achieve its aim, that is keeping the vehicles in service until the middle of the century. We've got a design, we've got a, a vehicle design to play with, and we're starting to learn all the little issues, the snags, the faults that pop out all over the place as we fire and use the vehicle. And that's what exactly what we're doing here today. The goal is for us to have the world's very first infantry fighting vehicle that can fire and hit with pinpoint accuracy moving targets whilst on the move. What that means is the vehicle does not need to stop to fire. That will increase tempo against the enemy 
And that is something which our potential adversaries and our allies will certainly sit up and notice. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.